obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will simulate a vortex combustion chamber using ANSYS Fluent software. Combustion is the result of chemical process between combustible material and an oxidizing agent that is associated with the production of heat and the chemical change of raw material. Heat can be released by producing light in the form of clay, flame or a glow. Fossil fuels are usually made of organic compounds in the form of gases, liquids or solids. As mentioned above, burning is a type of oxidation reaction. However, due to the high speed of the combustion reaction, which leads to the production of high amount of heat in a short time and increase in the ambient temperature and the creation of light and flame, it falls into the spatial category. The vortex combustion chamber is a new generation of liquid fuel internal combustion engine in which a whirlpool flow is created with a different arrangement of injectors. This whirlpool helps, the, helps to cool and increase the mixing of propulsion components uh, in the combustion chamber, and complete combustion can be reached in a smaller volume chamber. In this project, a combustion reaction is simulated inside the vortex combustion chamber. The energy equation is activated. K-epsilon standard viscosity model is used to analyze the turbulence of two-phase currents and the standard valve function is exploited for the regions near to the valve. The species transport model is used to analyze the combustion process. A mixture of air and methane is used as fuel mixture. Eddy dissipation method has been used to investigate the chemical turbulent interaction of combustion reactants and NOx anticipation model is activated and temperature method is used for turbulence interaction model. The ideal gas equation has also been used to determine the density changes due to the changes in temperature. The geometry of this project is designed in Gambit software and consists of two air flow inlets and two fuel inlets. The meshing process for this geometry is also done using Gambit software and the mesh used uh, for this geometry uh, is unstructured and total number of elements of mesh cells are equal to uh, 379,535. A new window will appear showing you the dominant extents of your geometry. Also under the view length, view length unit section you can see the default geometry units, which is meter in this project. Also, under the scaling section, uh, uh, under the mesh was created in, you can change the settings uh, in order to activate the scaling factors beneath that. For example, your geometry and mesh was is designed in a software, which uh, its default unit was millimeters. By activating these scaling factors, you can change this factor to your desired factors in order to set the length to the appropriate unit. As can be seen in this window, uh, the energy equation has been activated since we are simulating the combustion process and that we, we want to know the temperature distribution inside our computational domain. After clicking on edit, a new window will appear. In the appeared window, you either can define a new material by changing the properties as yourself or you can click on Fluent Database button and select a new material from the Fluent Database list. Now as was mentioned in previous slides about adding a new material, uh, you just have to right click on the fluid and then uh, click on new. A, win a new window will appear in which uh, you can add a new material uh, by just changing the properties yourself or you can uh, either ch uh, select a new material from Fluent Database. By clicking on Thermal tab, you get to see the temperature of this airflow. Also by clicking on Fuel Inlet, uh, you can see that the type of this boundary is set to be Velocity Inlet again and just like the previous steps, by clicking on Edit, you can change the setting for this boundary. After clicking on the species tab, uh, under the species mass fraction, you can see that uh, the mass fraction of methane is equal to 1. After clicking on thermal tab, under the thermal condition, you can see that the temperature thermal condition is defined for the outer wall of the geometry. 
and its temperature is set to 300 Kelvin. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals or reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation, you are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. In this uh, density contour, you can easily see how the densities have changed inside our uh, computational domain because of the combust process. Now, in this path line contour, you can easily see how the string lines of air and fuel has entered the computational domain, and you can easily see how they have moved inside the combustion chamber and how vertex have been generated inside our combustion chamber. Now, in order to see and have a contour in the middle part of the computational domain, we just have to create a plane in the middle section. To do that, uh, we right-click on the Surfaces button and then uh, select a uh, plane. Uh, after selecting the plane, an even window will appear. In the Appear window, under the method, we select the YZ plane and we define the value for X as 0. After that, by clicking on Create button, this plane will be created. Now in this contour, you can easily see the mass fraction of NOx has increased in the middle part of the geometry, which is probably because of the increased temperature in that part. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.